Hey guys, CruzNigX back with more Final Fantasy XIV goodness. Um, so, we're going on to the next, uh, another episode where I have to re- that I had to re-record because of reasons. Um, so here I am on Tarl Cabot, um, who at the moment is level 67, but we're, it, we're still in Heaven's Ward content. Um... At the time of this recording, Stormblood is, or the new expansion, the most recent expansion, Stormblood, is already released, um, and I'm trying to level Tarl up to get to a suitable aspect. Um, now, you may have noticed that Tarl has changed a little bit, um, but more on that later. Um, anyways, uh, so we're going to be doing the first episode of the Warring Triad arc um, in this episode. Um, it's not gonna be ready for... The Warring Triad won't be released until later, but, um, <clears throat> I just want to get this one out there before that. So, to unlock it, we need to get this, the level 60 quest, Gods of Eld. Let's get right down to it. Ah, oh, my Lord Tarl. During your absence, a stranger came calling. Upon learning that you were away, he left a message to, effect, to the effect that he wishes to speak to you and will await you at the Rising Stones. If you have a mind to oblige this stranger, please be careful. I cannot well explain why, but it put me ill at ease to simply be near him. <clears throat> Alright, um... So, we're heading back to Mordona. I'm trying to get this episode done as quickly as possible because I'm kind of behind schedule getting ready for work. Um, we're going to be doing... more in terms of this later tonight, but I wanted to get this episode quickly out. <clears throat> so... All right, here we are, and we're gonna go into the Solar, because reasons. And now we wait. My thanks for coming. Unul Kalhai is my name, and I serve a friend. I sought you out that I might alert you to the rising threat of the beings known as Icons. You are aware of the threat, you say? Ah, but I speak not of the primals with which you are exceedingly well acquainted. It may interest you to know that the term Icon and the beings to which it refers precede the Gaulian Empire by eras. You see, it is the name by which the Alagans called godlike beings, the Dark Divinity Odin among them, and the Gaulians, who seek to emulate the glory of ancient Alag, have simply availed themselves of it. <clears throat> Pray, permit me to continue the tale. Hello, Uriange, you shady motherfucker. <laughs> ah. Uriange, how kind of you to join us. As the Warrior of Light's comrade, my participation is but to be expected. After all, the matter doth pertain to the very fate of this star. The icons of Eld in the distant past, these mighty beings did offer fierce resistance to the Alagan Empire. However, they eventually fell to the men of Alag, who devised the means by which to capture them. And it did not end with capture, as you well know, for the Alagans also learned how to harness the Icon's power. They refined this knowledge to, at the Etherochemical Research Facility on Azisla, and within the centrifugic... Mm, I cannot pronounce that. 
and within the centrifugal crystal engine, they sealed three of the beings. The warring triad. <clears throat> Twas first and foremost to acquire the infinite power of the warring triad that the archbishop did seek as his law. But in the wake of his defeat, the bindings which confined the icons were severely damaged. Doubt not that they will fall completely ere long. Know that we do not condemn you for striking down the Archbishop. You were simply fulfilling your destiny. And yet, were the warring triad to be released into the world, unimaginable destruction would ensue. Take heart, for there is hope still. Through swift action, we may yet prevent their awakening and see them resealed. But in dealing with this new threat, our first step must be to contend with the old. Two savage gods are returned, I fear, summoned once more by their worshippers, and at a strength far surpassing their previous incarnations. I speak of the Ra I speak of the primals Ravana and Bismarck. If left unchecked, they will inevitably seek to seize the power of the warring triad. This will serve to feed the confluence of chaos and hasten the icon's awakening. To wit, <coughs> sorry, to wit, we must needs vanquish both their kinds. I pray thee, however, to first focus thy gaze upon the primals, ere we turn our attention to those icons and their fitful slumber. I shall return to the waking sands forthwith, and consider such measures as are available to us. Meanwhile, I bid thee attend to the task of eliminating the primals. Young Onukalai shall assist thee. Rest assured he is not our enemy, for the time being at least. And with that, we've completed the quest. <clears throat> with that, we've unlocked two, the two new, pri two new quests the Diabolical Bismarck and Thok Around the Clock. Which we will do later tonight to uh, get rid of them and get them out of the way. Um, and then uh, later in the Heaven's Ward storyline, we'll do more in terms of the Warring Triad. But until then, that's it for this episode of Cruise Next Purgatory. Thank you all for watching and I hope you all enjoyed the show. As always, if you're watching this on Twitch or live on PlayStation and you like this show, click the follow button below and be sure to turn on notifications. If you're watching this on YouTube and you like this video, click the like button below and leave a comment. Subscribe to my channel by clicking here. Click here to watch more by me. Click here to watch the next episode and click here.